All right, I found a jug. We'll just dump this, the good gas out. We'll put the gas that was stuck in there and let's see what happens. Oops. Set this down the ground here. Oh, there it is. Here's the others. Fill it up with this wonderful gas that was in there. start her up and run her until that gas is in there. Has to run the carburetor drive the gas that's in it and then it'll run on the gas that's in the tank. Start running back. and we'll start again. Okay, that didn't have the desired effect. I was hoping that it would follow the spark plug so it wouldn't start, but it seems to have... Oh, maybe it did have the desired effect. There you go. So, it was a little hard starting there, so let's uh, have a look at this spark plug. Shouldn't have been hard starting like that, especially warm. So what happens if your fuel is bad or too rich in oil, you will glaze the spark plug over. So, um, this is a hot one. Have a look at the spark plug. See it's getting really shiny on the porcelain there. I just actually sandblasted this. So it should have been, it was, white when we started it, but uh, you can see how it's getting really shiny on the porcelain there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Porcelain right in here is getting shiny. And that's glazing. So, um, what happens is under pressure, instead of the spark jumping across the gap, 
it jumps from here and it slides down the porcelain to the metal inside the spark plug and it shorts out the spark instead of jumping across creating a spark there's no spark it just goes straight down to ground and of course it won't ignite the fuel air mixture that way so that's what happens so I'm gonna put a new spark plug in and get rid of that gas and actually I'll show you how to check the spark um, grab a screwdriver make sure the ignition is on stick it in the wire like this and hold it about a quarter inch so there's a, about a quarter inch gap between the screwdriver and some metal and make sure you have an insulated handle or you'll get it and I don't know if you can see the spark but it jumps that like nothing jumps that quarter inch gap like nothing there so that's a very good spark a nice big fat spark there so that's another thing you could always check okay I'm gonna put a new spark plug in and we are done see you later